Prince. Hope all are good and fine at your end. We are gathered here to take chapter number 1 Chemical Reaction and Equations. The contents of the chapter are first introduction, second chemical equation, third balancing of chemical equation, fourth types of chemical reaction, fifth corrosion and sixth rancidity. Introduction We experience about number of types of changes in our day-to-day -day life like melting of an ice cube, rusting of iron, chopping of wood, formation of curd from milk, crushing a can, cooking of food, breaking a glass, digestion of food. In all the above situations, the nature and the identity of the initial substances are somewhat changed. Let us classify these types of changes into two types, physical change and chemical change. First, in physical change, the molecules are rearranged while their actual composition remains same. Example, melting of an ice cube, breaking a glass, chopping wood, crushing a can. Whereas in chemical change, the molecular composition of a substance completely changes after a new substance is formed. Example, rusting of iron, formation of curd from milk, cooking of food, digestion of food. During chemical change, the nature and identity of the compounds change, which we describe as chemical reaction. How do we come to know that chemical reaction has taken place? So let us perform few activities. First activity, take magnesium ribbon. Remove the oxide on it by rubbing the surface with sandpaper. Now hold one end of this ribbon with a pair of tongs and heat the other end in the oxidizing flame or Bunsen burner. What do you observe? Magnesium ribbon burns with bright and deflagrating light and white substance is formed which is magnesium oxide. This is combination reaction because oxygen combines with magnesium and compound magnesium oxide is formed. Equation 2mg plus O2 on heating gives 2MgO. An activity. Take lead nitrate solution in a test tube. Add potassium iodide solution to this. What do you observe? When you add lead nitrate to potassium iodide, the particles combine and create two new compounds. A yellow solid called lead iodide and a white solid called potassium nitrate. Yellow clouds indicate that the chemical change has taken place. This is an example of double displacement reaction. The equation is PbNO3 twice plus 2Ki gives PbI2 plus 2KNO3. Activity number 3. Take a few zinc granules in a conical flask or a test tube. Add dilute hydrochloric acid or sulfuric acid to it. On the reaction between these two, dihydrogen gas is produced. What do you observe when you touch the conical flask or test tube? The temperature of the conical flask or test tube increases because it is an exothermic reaction. All these three activities observation suggests that there is a change in the state, change in color, evolution of gas and change in temperature which all are the example of chemical reactions. Is chemical equation. Chemical equation is a symbolic representation of a chemical reaction in the form of symbols and formula. The substances taking part in the reaction are called reactants and the substances that are produced in the reaction are called products. In the chemical reaction, reactants are written on the left hand side of the arrow and the products on the right hand side of the arrow. The physical states of the reactants and products are expressed in the equation S for solid, L for liquid, G for gas, AQ for aqueous. The state of a substance is expressed on the right hand side of the symbol representing atom molecule in the lower part of the bracket. Example, when sodium reacts with water gives you sodium hydroxide plus hydrogen gas. 2NaS plus 2H2O L gives 2NaOH AQ plus H2G. Certain reactions occur in the presence of suitable catalysts, temperature and pressure. 
these conditions are shown on the upper or lower side of the arrow earlier arrow was shown in upward direction for gaseous compound and in downward direction for precipitates beside the product but now they are expressed as g and s respectively